Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky. And Max! I can't wait to talk about the new Enchantables! There's a little bit behind the scenes. <laughs> Ducky is frowning. Ducky just talked me up before the episode. She's like, okay, let's not go too negative. Because we don't want to get all those comments. But actually, honestly, I'm not a fan of the Enchantables, you guys know. But the playset with the seahorse... She's pretty cute. Yeah. Okay, she'd suck. And now Ducky's a little surprised. <laughs> but she did it. She talked. She tried to talk me down. She's like, okay, let's not do, go too crazy. This isn't a hot topic episode. This is just toy talk about the new Enchantables. Uh, and they are not marketed for collectors, they're marketed for kids. They did take over the Enchantables development money, though. That you mean ever after high? Yeah, or I mean ever after high, yes. Yeah. So always I will be a little bit upset about that. But beyond that, putting that aside, this I should be fair and talk about actual uh, product we're getting in, from these promo images and not how I feel that they took over my ever after high dolls, which I am upset. So I'm putting that aside. Let's just talk about the dolls. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest. So, okay. Okay. Alright. Now, the actual doll is a cute design, although there's the usual problems with enchantables. I do not like the seahorses that come with her, though. Oh, I like the seahorses. Oh, you do? Yeah, I think the seahorses are probably the one of the cuter things. Um, I think a, a, like a western under the sea theme is kind of cool. I have never seen anything like that. But the one thing I, I is like kind of weird to me is that um, that they have a wagon with wheels under the sea. Like, why not have like a clamshell covered with a wagon that's like more sea themed? Yeah, that's a good point. A covered clamshell. That'd be cool. And it, even if they wanted to put wheels on that, it would still be more of a sea theme than like a, a western wagon like that. Actually, before this news broke, I was uh, contemplating a hot topic on if Enchantables are continuing, if mm. they're doing good. So I guess, I mean, well, they've probably been in development for a while for these second wave I think they're team. doing pretty good because um, so far, like, we've been going to the movies quite a lot. I was and... just going to say, yeah. I cannot stand seeing the advertisement before a movie. We went to, like, um, Lego Ninjago, mm -hmm. and the, the first look before the movie had a thing with enchantables. They show all these people with pets and stuff. And then the enchantables are a very small part of it. Mm -hmm. And so much money went into the marketing of these. Mm -hmm. um, it does still have the non-articulated doll. Actually, her her sh uh, her knees are articulated. Oh, okay. Because yeah, so she's a play set. Cause she just can like sit. that turtle one. Mm -hmm. um, I cannot... I still, across ever, some older Ever After High, Monster High, and the more basic ones, I hate... Those, well, I don't want to say hate, but I really don't like those molded tops with the, the paint on it. If you're going to do a molded top, make sure the paint, um, the design is really nice. It's just, ugh. Hmm. It's like Western. I cannot tell if she has ears under there or not. I'm so interested to see if they took away the ears on these enchantables. Because a lot of the designs of the characters, they shouldn't have human ears, too. Hmm. So. She has she has like uh, those fin things, but I don't know if she has ears. That hat, how much? How hard would it be just to put a little gold paint on the star or something or the mm. the rim there? I like her face. Yeah, her face is nice. I don't like the boots. Forget about the boots. This is a problem across all Mattel lines right now. Is the uh, ugly molded boots or shoes that you can't even tell what they are. They just look blobs of plastic i kind of like um the the crab girl though you do <laughs> yeah uh i do not like the crab girl what is uh, with that belt it's a crab 
I know, but it's so weird. I like I don't her think, cause she's I don't weird. Think I, I don't. You like her because she's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't like her. And then there's a duck. That's yeah, this her. is a really early picture of the duck. I wish she had blue hair, and then I'd want to get her. Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can make her with blue hair. Yeah, that would be a lot of effort. Here's a raccoon. Yep. Again, I can't tell if the human ears are still there. I My guess is I'm like 80% that they still are there. They just mm -hmm. are hiding it well in the promo pictures. Mm -hmm. Because Mattel's not going to really do anything to make it more expensive for them. I, I realized um, something about that raccoon that's on her arm mm -hmm. it remind me of something the raccoons remind me of something and I realized what it reminded me of hmm. it reminded me of South Park okay <laughs> there's a one episode where he dresses up as a raccoon superhero <laughs> and he looks like that alright <laughs> well, what do you think of the raccoon doll um I, don't I like, feel like I don't all like the animals have very squished faces and that's not my if you're preference if you're, for if, animals if your whole thing is to include anim animals and they're these are enchanted human animal hybrid things i don't know because i don't watch the show because it i just can't get into it but make the animals quality a little quality toy they don't come with many accessories this is a play set because it comes with two raccoons mm -hmm. Um, just another look at the ducky enchantable. And the little bear. Yeah. Picnic basket. I like the idea of enchantables. It's mm -hmm. just not there. Well, it's not there for us, but for I a little kid, I think they like them. I don't... There's a lot of, uh, toys that, and dolls that are aimed at children, younger kids, that are much better quality than this. Yeah. Although this one's a little bit one of the better ones, I think. Really? Out of the out of the new ones. I like okay, if you take away the hair clips, I like it. Yeah. I don't like the extra hair clips. Those... They probably had them laying around from something else. Maybe. Mattel's uh storeroom of accessories from previous lines and stuff. It wouldn't be hard for them to make a doll clip. Here's a pig. She's like kind of scary. I like the uh, pig with the the hat on. Yeah. That one, well, that one's probably the cutest animal I've seen so far. What about the little pig girl? Um. <laughs> oh, you viewers, please comment below what you think of each of these dolls too. I think they should have made her like a spotty pig, and that maybe would have read a better. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like all pink, because then she just doesn't look very pig like. She just looks like she has a dark nose. Again, this is like for me, this is just uh, when you go to fairs running around and kids get face paint. This is all this says to me. It doesn't, it's not like a quality design. It just looks like bad face paint mm -hmm. at a party or a fair. I see. So, so that's our thoughts on. The new Wave 2 Series 2 Enchantimals. Enchantimals continue. They're not stopping. Yep. I Although, think, I think, I think li younger kids like them, so all I'm right. happy that they have something they like. I want younger kids to have quality Enchantimals and better quality. Just a little bit more. Mm. Better pets. Maybe not the articulation, but better face designs and hair. Mm -hmm. And stop with the molded on tops that are bad paint jobs. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what you think. And here's some mystery menus. Yep, we have the Kingdom Heart mystery menus. And then I have the, the exclusive sets with where they're from next to them. You have the GameStop set that had the last, the bottom right three on the bottom, the the Heartless three, and then the Tron three are the exclusives in each set. 
Um, the GameStop ones don't come with the, the axle and the organization ones. You can see the difference is there. Now my problem here, and I'm still, I still need to make a Hot Topic episode about Funko Mystery Mix. Okay, as you look at the exclusives there, there's six. I mean, there's 12. More than likely, I mean, I'm not 100% because I don't have a box yet. There's going to be three of these characters that are not exclusives are going to be one and six. And the three that are exclusives are going to be one and 24, one and 36, or one and 72. So there's a good shot you could get a whole box of 12 and not even get an exclusive character. And they're doing this across all the stores. You don't know that for sure. Based on recent releases. No, I don't know that for sure. And then here's my favorite exclusive set is the Hot Topic one with the, the Halloween Town ones. Oh, they are cool. If I get a box of these, I want to get the Hot Topic ones. A box okay. of the Hot Topic ones. Well, you might not get one exclusive if you get a case. Okay. Because they're probably going to do the, these three on Even the... if I just got one and it was the Sora, I'd be happy. Okay. Because he's well, the coolest. Just so you know, more than likely, it's going to be Mickey and those... I forget their names because I don't... Those know. ones are probably not going to be hard to get. Yeah, those are going to be the one and sixes where yeah. you get two... Well, two that's du fine because three duplicates cool. in a de in a case. Well, those are cool, so I don't mind. Well, I'm just saying they're making it so hard for mystery mini collectors, and we've been mystery mini collectors since the beginning. Well, I think there's a lot of like online communities to trade and stuff too. Yeah, they're all gonna want to trade you the one and sixes. Maybe you'll have to pay big money to just but, buy. But like, if you had from another series one that they want. Speaking wanted. of hot topic, if you want me to do a whole ranty episode on mystery minis, I will. I might do it anyway. But if you want to see that, please comment. <laughs> All right. So, viewer comment for this toy talk. Rihanna Riggs, thank you so much for your viewership, your commenting and supporting the channel, and let's read your comment. She's one of the original dolls that I have in my collection, and I got her when she was first released. This I bought. Is about Nefra. Okay, I bought her with Torline. I'll still put all my old dolls out and look them over and marvel in their beauty and remember how lucky I am to have all the originals, so I don't have to put up with them. <laughs> uh oh, I see where this is going. You speak to my heart, Anna Riggs. <laughs> put up with the. We don't use foul language on the toy talk, but I could say crap. The crap, Mattel, and I agree with you, is trying to sell now as Monster High. Nefra isn't one of my favorite characters, but as a doll, she was one of my top 10 favorites of the originals, especially because she was the first to have the larger, mature body mold. That's, that's cool, she's unique, yes. But also because she's just so flipping gorgeous. I painted her fingernails and toenails with a teal sharpie because I did that with all my dolls. The only way I messed up with, messed with, or altered them in any way was to add more colors on the molded details of their accessories with sharpies, or paint the nails with a color that matched the character and or outfit. Again, I love Nefra, but as a character, but as a doll, not, which, as, not as a character, sorry, but as a doll, she's just so beautiful flipping gorgeous I really like you flipping gorgeous. I, I added that because I like saying that flipping gorgeous <laughs> okay uh, thanks for the comment and you you got a lot of responses for your Nefra doll review yeah it was great to see people actually watched it mm-hmm which is very telling to to doll reviews lately sometimes you review a new doll and it doesn't get uh, people aren't as interested people love these classic original monster high dolls because they're great quality and that's all you have to do mm -hmm. it's not hard mattel just do what people want yep. listen to people yep. it goes a long way to listen to your customers yep. and i went on on and on okay well thanks for watching this episode yep thanks for watching the enchantables episode yep bye bye